What's going on everybody? It's your person, King David, here with a new video. It's been a long while since my last video. I was spending the last couple of weeks uh, just getting settled uh, now that I've moved here in the wonderful city of Osaka. I apologize to those viewers who I left hanging. I haven't had internet these past couple of weeks. I don't know why it takes so long in Japan to set up internet. I still don't have internet. I gotta wait. Um, until next week, until I get it. So that means it's been about a month since I haven't had internet, which means it's difficult to upload videos or even stream uh, without internet, right? Uh, uh, why do I have this knife? Well, if you look at the title of this video, it's gonna be another unboxing video. I don't have much experience with this. Uh, I only really made only one other video and that was the Diva and Android unboxing video. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the description below. And you know, you need a knife for unboxing, right? And you also need a knife if you want to run faster. Those of you who play FPS games know what I'm talking about. Eh, Counter-Strike, eh, uh, Call of Duty. I don't really play many FPS games. Um, here with me is my trusty helper, uh, Ditto. I don't know why he's here, just I guess for moral support. Because it's hype. Fire Emblem Three Houses, Tree Houses. Something's supposed to be hype. And so, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get it. Okay, uh, as you can see here, this channel is sponsored by Amazon. Well, I'm just kidding. I wish I was sponsored by Amazon. Amazon, if you're out there, you know, uh, if you want someone to promote your stuff, you know, you know who to holla at. Let's get it started. Okay, uh, we're gonna need a knife here. We're gonna need to do some, uh, <coughs> some surgery. Sorry. All right, make an incision here. Scalpel, uh, nurse, nurse ditto. <laughs> Get the scalpel. Get the spatula. Oh wait, never mind. You don't really use a spatula in surgery, do you? What other tools do you use? What are the medical tools? Um, uh, stethoscope, uh, pliers, <laughs> screwdriver. I'm just listing random tools. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. Hold on, let's first put this box down here. Oh, whoops. Okay, so when doing a brief Google search, you'll notice that there's a difference between this Japanese version uh, and the American version. The American version is called the Wayfarer's Edition, and this is called the Photoland Collection. Not only are the names different, the design is going to be different, as well as the contents of what's inside the special editions. Here you can see the wonderful art of Kazuyuki Koda. Is that his name? Kazuyuki Koda. Okay, I want to get his name right here. See the wonderful art of Kazuyuki Koda, and he also made the concept art of this game. Uh, you can see Edelgard, Dimitri, and Claude. And if you take a look at the back, you can see this, uh, I think it's Naga. Well, it's a dragon, more or less. Uh, this wonderful artwork as well. Uh, yeah, this is stunning to say the least. Uh, this is amazing. This also came with the box, so let's take a look at this first before we look at the contents of this Foldline collection. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, we have... I don't know what this is. Is this a... I mean, I guess this is something to put up on the table for like artwork purposes. I'm not sure what the function of this is, but it's just, it's identical to what you see in the box, right? I wonder if you can see. Yeah. All right. That will definitely go up on this table right here. We'll put this to the side. Okay. Now. Ooh. Oh yeah. So okay. One cool thing you can see. Uh, you can see the pixel art of every character that's in this game, or at least all the major characters. I think that's pretty cool. If you can see right here on the side. I think that's pretty nifty. If I do say so myself. And opening this box, here's what you see. Uh, I guess this is the sound selection, or the CD. Oh, cool, you can see, um... The thing is, I don't know the names of many of these characters. I should have done my research, but at the same time, I didn't want to spoil myself of all the details. I didn't even take a look at the trailer of this game. That's how dedicated I am to not spoiling myself of any potential details. Uh, so this is the sound selection, or the, I guess, the CD, or the soundtrack. Because as you can see here, oh, here is a list of the OST or the soundtrack of the songs in this game. And ooh, let's take a look at the CD. Ooh, wow, this looks pretty. This looks pretty nifty too. If you look at the CD, it says Fire Emblem Sound Selection. You can see the intricate design found on the CD. 
I think that's pretty amazing. I will give that a listen. Yeah, I'm really taken away just by the sheer design of many of these, like the care that's put into um, the design of this box and these contents. It's really awesome to see. Okay, so we got the steel book here. Uh, inside, ooh, wow, that's really cool. Okay, so if you take a look at the inside of this steel book, you can see this going on right here. Um, yeah, and then here is the outside of the box. Let's see here. Yeah. All right. Wow. This is. I am really just so impressed by this. Oh man, this made it the wait really worth it. I feel like. Then. Oh. Wait. Okay. There's more. There's more in this box, yo. There is more stuff in this box. Um, but anyway, here is the game. Uh, yeah, we got Claude here, upside down as always. I don't know why they did him like that. They got to do my boy like that. Uh, yeah, uh, this. I mean, this is what you're gonna see in everyone's game cases, Japanese or American. I feel like they could have done more for the design of this box. Um, I mean, if they're gonna make it as cool as this, they should have put more effort into this, I feel like. Eh, what, what can you do? It looks like there's more. There's more stuff in this box. There's more than meets the eye. I have to pull out the knife again. There's levels to this. There's levels to this, yo. Ooh. We got the art book. Oh my goodness. This is, oh wow. Okay, same art. Yeah, the same scenery, the same landscape as what you're gonna see on the special edition box. You can see, I guess it's a map. I don't know if you can really see it. It's very dark. Uh, it's hard to see. I mean, you can see the logo right here, but if you can really look closely, you'll see, I guess it looks like a map of the world of this game. Yeah, you can see the different cities, different plateaus, and different locations of different things. That's what's on the back of the book. All right, and then, ooh. Okay, so this is, I guess, the cinematic art. You look at the cinematic art of this game. Yeah, and then uh, you can see an art of the different characters, the concept art behind them. Man, this is so cool. This is really cool. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, here's Edelgard. Uh, let's look at the concept art of... Ooh, okay, these are potential spoilers, man. These are spoilerific. Okay, let's take a... For the purpose of this video, let's just try to be brief with it. And let's just look at the three main leaders. Uh, so this is Dimitri. You can see here Dimitri's concept art. And then let's take a look. Oh man, I'm gonna have to look at this later. Uh, and then this is Claude, as well as the members of his house right here. Yeah. Oh man, this is so cool. I think this is more impressive than the Shadows of Valencia Special Edition. Yeah, I ordered this months ago and let me tell you, the wait was pretty worth it. I wonder where Byleth is. Ooh, and here, and here's like some of the scenery of the in-game stuff that you can see here. Uh, yeah. Take a look at that. Is Byleth or Beleth? I don't know how to pronounce their name. Uh, yeah. So anyways, with that being said, just a recap of what you get in this Fodland collection. Uh, you get the Fodland art book of the concept art of this game. You get the song selection or the soundtrack for this game, steel art book, you get the game itself, I mean, it goes without saying, right? And then you get this thing, I don't even know what you call this, like a binder or like a, an art folder thingamajig. This along with this box is what you get for the Foldland collection. Um, if you're a big Fire Emblem fan like myself, I highly recommend you go and get yourself this uh, collection. Um, yeah, this is an impressive collector's item to say the least. Uh, plus it's got amazing artwork you can look at for hours and hours. Uh, yeah, that does it for today's video. If you like this video, go ahead and give this video a like as well as subscribe to my channel. Another thing to stay tuned for is me streaming this game. I'm gonna be streaming this game today. I get internet, uh, it's gonna be a blind playthrough. It's gonna be a permadeath playthrough uh, where if the characters die, 
they die. And so if you want to see my reaction and my uh, utter sorrow for my comrades dying in battle, and go ahead and uh, yeah, just be on the lookout for that. If you want live updates of when I stream or when I upload a YouTube video, follow me on Twitter. Um, yeah, I'm excited. What house am I going to pick? I don't know. Stay tuned for that. With that being said, this is King David saying, stay royal, my lords.